Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and to another Mortal Kombat Mobile Faction War slash Survivor Vote video. This time we are going into a little bit older Survivor Mode fight I did in the previous season. But before that, we have once again a few more news from the MK Mobile team regarding the release of Classic Jade. Once again, they dropped a video on Twitter, so let's jump directly into that one. Hello Mortal Kombat Mobile Combatants, let's take a look at the next gold fighter to join the roster, Classic Jade. Her speed should not be underestimated. Classic Jade can blind enemies on any of her special attacks. Jade unleashes her glaive in her first special, Double Razor, which applies a snare and blind from her passive. Jade gains speed every time an opponent misses, stacking up to 50%. Jade strikes with her staff in her second special, Divine Forces, which applies Cripple and triggers Blind again from her passive. Classic Goro attacks back but misses, and Jade gains speed. Classic Jade adds Snare Immunity to the Classic Team Synergy. Jade tags back in to take out Cabal with Divine Forces. Jade attacks her victim with her glaive in her X-Ray Spinning Shadow, which applies luck and blind from her passive. Quan Chi misses three times and Jade gains max speed. Thanks for watching. Gold Classic Jade will be available in Mortal Kombat Mobile on June 4th. Well, and there you have it, guys. That is the trailer of the gameplay of Classic Jade. We are already jump here into that little fight in survivor mode. And while we are fighting the first few fights, we can already do a little recap on what we've just seen here. So, all right, the topic is Classic Jade, and I have to say that I haven't seen any footage yet prior. I know there have been videos on YouTube regarding people playing Classic Jade after unlocking her from Renown, but I really wanted to wait and then directly react to what we've getting from the official release. And now that we've seen the gameplay, I gotta say this card could be a very great addition especially to the classic team that speed increase is definitely something to be aware of probably especially when then towers are coming with these characters on high fusions maybe even bosses i mean just imagine you would have a classic team that cannot be snared jade is picking up the speed maybe classic scorpion with his brutal special one constantly pulling back your weakest characters so that he can take them out. We also should not forget Classic Noob and his special one, which makes then every single attack unblockable in that combination with Jade's snare and all that stuff, plus the speed and cripple and whatnot. I mean, there could be really some interesting fights coming towards us. Maybe once we get something like a Classic Tower, which people are still believing to come at some point. And then also just thinking about maybe Classic Jade wearing that Tower Gear Edenian Force Rejection Field where skill. then opponents are also um, have the chance to miss special attacks once they are on blind. You of course can also add Smoke who also is dealing with that blind passive. So if you really want to go the entire blinding team route adding maybe the shadow sash so that you can blind the entire team already at the beginning of the match and take advantage of that 
I guess the only character on our roster who is kind of not really bothered by that issue would be Commando Kano. Unfortunately, he has so low stats that he isn't really considered a threat. But now the only question is how will she be available and my, my guess is definitely that we will get a pay pack first and since they didn't even announce any sort of maintenance I think that they will just drop her because they said it will be the fourth and the fourth on my uh, end here is already today so uh, if there were maintenance they would already have announced that at least yesterday so that we could prepare for that nothing in that regard has happened so I guess they will just drop that paywall pack a little later on today or maybe even already uh, it might be out once you are watching this video not sure how fast I get that upload done but we will see it anyway, we just need to have a little bit of patience and then the entire thing will unfold. The other big question that I have at the moment is what about MK11 Rain? Since his release we haven't seen a single pack, at least for souls yet. And that is yet to come and they are already released the next character without us even being able to obtain the previous one. So the question is, will they also drop a soul pack for rain at any point soon? Because if that is not the case, then I'm also not really looking forward to the release of Classic Jade. Because it will probably take us months until we're even able to acquire her in any shape or form. And I guess we all can agree on one point and that is the way how characters are released, especially since 3.0 is very very disappointing, it's even worse than in the 2.0 era. And because of that, players are leaving the game basically on a daily basis because they are just fed up with the way NRS is doing business in terms of MK Mobile. And from what I hear, it's not much better when it comes to the MK11 console game. There is basically no communication going on, something that we on MK Mobile are very used to. For us, it sometimes takes weeks, if not months, until we even get anything in terms of social media communication with the developers. And granted, there will always uh, be new players coming to the game, especially now after the release of the movie. And uh, as far as I uh, already heard, there is already a sequel uh, planned for uh, Scorpion's Revenge. The only problem is if players are joining the game and then are already fed up after a few weeks because lack of communication and horrendous drop rates, it will do very little for the MK Mobile team to really sustain interest and of course that also will go down into the numbers and that is something that they indeed are probably the most interested in. So uh, my ad advice on that point would be make players happy because then they keep playing instead of just leaving the game or even worse than just go for the hacks because they don't have the patience or even the will to play put up with what you are putting out. But yeah, that would be my thoughts now on the release of Classic Jade and everything that is going on in MK Mobile right at this point. And I would say by now we should have finished at least the first five fights or something here in the survivor mode. So let's get now into the commentary because now the fights are getting more interesting. And then let's see how the team with Classic Jax, Day of the Dead Kitana and Classic Raiden will fare. So far we didn't have any issues, but that is not really a surprise. Alright, then here we start now against Circle of Shadow Quan Chi. <laughs> Directly the attack to Raiden, dealing some damage, combo ender against Quan Chi. Another combo ender, unfortunately not the brutality that would have taken him out immediately. Now we have Tremor who pulls in the weakest link and that is Jax because he's not maxed out yet. He's actually far from that, I think he's like fusion 5 or something. 
But now back to Raiden, and we can go for a combo ender here again. And maybe just go for another one and reserve that special two here now for Circle of Shadow Jax Briggs. And that's the victory. You fight without skill. Well done. Next up, we have a Bone Shaper Shinnok here. Fight. Directly again, attack to Raiden. Dealing some good damage here. And Shinnok is on the Revenant Shield. Let's block the attacks and a few basics, and he is out. Special 2 now against Dark Raiden. And once again, we have a shield that is so typical for a survivor mode. And now special one just taken out Raiden. And then we are left with Tactical Sonya blocking the special one. Combo Ender by Jax. Tag to Raiden. Another Combo Ender. And once again a shield. That's the third one in this match. And keep in mind, that's a 30% chance to trigger, and it triggers all the time. You fight without skill. Yeah. Impressive. Covered Ops Cassie is next here on the first slot of the opponent team. And once again, we can add a combo ender by Jax. Second one. Maybe let's directly go for Raiden here. Another combo ender. Dealing massive damage here. Almost took her out. A few basic hits, and that's it. Now, a special two against high tech Jackie Briggs. And the next shield, special one by Raiden, buy us some time, and she is out. Tag to Jax, special two against Classic Scorpion. At least he's crippled. And combo ender, and how could it be different? Another shield, and that's the victory. You fight without skill. Outstanding. Moving on now here with Gunslinger Aaron Black as opponent. Combo Ender by Jax. The second one. And ah, interrupted here by Aaron. Fair enough. Attack to Raiden. So that Jax can heal a little bit on the outside. Special one by Raiden. And to the next shield. We blocked the special one. Now we have Kitana. Again, the special one blocked. Combo Ender by Raiden. Ah, this time she gets us fully with that special one. Block breaker on top, yeah, yeah. That's typically for Kitana. Okay, combo ender by Raiden. 
here we have Nabaraka, and he gets us with a special one. Let's go for Jack's special two, just triple him so that he will no longer power drain us. That almost took him out. Combo Ender. And now Baraka is gone. Blocking the special one. Combo Ender. And another one. Attack to Raiden. And Brutality against Mortal Kitana. You fight without skill. Outstanding. Next is Circle of Shadow Liu Kang in the opening slot, and thanks to the Ice Bomb, that's not an issue for us. We even resisted the stun, and now we can go directly for Raiden, Combo Ender. And once again... And Brutality, so there will be no shield. That is already a good sign. Now the special two against Ronin Kitana. Perfect. And now Aaron Black in the Day of the Dead variation is last. We already reached the next special two. Let's use that one directly. And here we have the reanimation by the Living Dead. A few hits but we are on the heel anyway so we don't have to mind special one now by Raiden and victory you fight without skill well done Next match here we have Strike Force Johnny Cage. Fight. Actually, we have the full Strike Force team here. Let's go for Raiden first. Combo Ender. And another one. Would be nice if we could get the brutality in here. Yes, we do. So Johnny is out. Perfect. Scorpion cannot save him. But unfortunately, we are hit by the special one, but we reflect thanks to Centaurian defense. Special two now against Strike Force Scorpion. And he's out. <laughs> Cassie is on her own. Which also means that she can no longer tag in for her power drain. Now let's go for Kitana. And special one so we can apply Weaken. Ah, but that was resisted. And we have the bone shield going on. Okay. Combo Ender by Raiden. Maybe let's try to go for the next brutality. That didn't work. One more try. Nope, but that's it anyway. You fight without skill. Excellent. Oh, how creative. Here we have another circle of Shadow Liu Kang. Fight. 
isn't that great when all the players play so many different cards. It looks like a total beginner team to me here. Circle of Shadow, Luke Kang, Assassin Jade, and of course Shao Kahn with his X-Ray ready. Combo Ender by Kitana. Ah, here we have Shao Kahn coming in and Raiden removes that X-Ray immediately. Shao doesn't need any X-Ray. Special 2 now against Shao Kahn. And Shao is out. Attack back to Kitana. We reflected some damage back here. Unfortunately, he broke our block and snared us. But Liu Kang is out now. Now we are left here with Jade. And she gets us with a special too. Problem is that we are snared, so that is dangerous in any way. Special one to apply some weaken, but with the blind we cannot do much. We are saved now by the Frost Orb, but it doesn't look good here. Yeah, okay, Kitana is out. Special 2 now by Jax. Take a revenge on Assassin Jade. And tag to Raiden. And let's just take her out with some basics. You fight without skill. Oh, look who we have here. Circle of Shadow Liu Kang. Long time no see. At least we still have our opener with the Ice Bomb. Unfortunately, Raiden can no longer benefit from the heal of Kitana. But we still can apply some solid damage here with his tag in and the unblockable specials. Brutality taken out Liu Kang. And next will be... Kung Lao, all right, special two is ready. We can use that one directly. Special one is also ready, but we can try again for the brutality, and that also works. And here now we are left with Circle of Shadow Sub Zero. We block the special two. Combo Ender by Raiden, special two is ready once again. Okay, Bone Shield is up, so we gotta block that special 2 once again. And Brutality ending this match as well. You fight without skill. Outstanding. Yay, Circle of Shadow Liu Kang. Fight. Seriously, guys, I'm getting so bored with this. Constantly facing the same characters. Combo Ender by Jax. And tag to Raiden. And again, Brutality. Goodbye, Liu Kang. Blocking the special one of Kung Lao, retaliating with a few basics. Go for the special two. And again, we have a shield here. Now let's go for a special one and take out Kung Lao. Block the special one of Johnny Cage. Tag back to Raiden. And go for. Hopefully a Brutality. Ah, too early. It didn't even trigger. Again, didn't trigger. Once more. 
Let's go for the special two. Yeah, here we have again the shield. For this we have Jax. Oops. Where have we been now? Weird camera angle. But victory anyway. You fight without skill. Outstanding. Um, yeah, okay. I'm not even commenting that anymore. Let's just wait until that stupid stun is over. Now, come, Ender. The ice shield broke already, that's why it's so useless to have Cold War Sonya outside of a Cold War team. But it is what it is. Now, backbreaker here by Jax, crippling Liu Kang in the process. And we blocked the special 2 by Quan Chi, but he still did a lot of damage. Now combo ender by Raiden. Once again. Ah, we need the brutality. Nope, still not. And of course he tags out in the last second. Now let's break Sonya's shield. Of course, bone shield. It's getting so annoying. Okay. Combo ender by Jax. Attack to Raiden. And combo ender. Blocking the special one of Liu Kang. Go for the special two. Let's see if that's enough to take him out. Yes, it is. We block the special two once again. And now we are dangerously low here. And the shield already applies once again. Revenant shield for the AI. But Jax takes out Quan Chi. Now the AI got the bone shield for attacking me. All right. Back to Raiden, and that's a victory. You fight without skill. Impressive. And with this, we finished the survivor mode run, and Classic Jax and Classic Raiden made it all the way through the end. It's been quite a while since I did the last survivor mode video and you guys know that I absolutely hate this game mode. So I'm really not that interested in doing too many of those. But at the, uh, I just recorded that one. I found it quite nice because so many people have an issue with classic jacks. And this one was a nice opportunity to show that he actually can pull things off. Thank you for tuning in once again. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. In case you didn't like the video, hit the dislike button twice just to make sure. And if you want to support the channel a little further, please consider joining the Patreon family of KC Mobile Gaming. You can already do that with as little as just $1 a month. And also follow me on social media like Twitter and Facebook. You will find all the necessary information in the description below of every video. If you want to see more content, then why don't you just click on one of those two videos here. Thank you for your support. Have a good one. Casey over and out for today.